Welcome back. It's Tasteless and Artosis. We're here doing the final round. Oh my god, oh my god. Yeah. We've done so many games today. That's right. I'm it's loving it. It's been really exciting. We were and actually We are now gonna go ahead and do Aori Prime against yep. Tank Boy Prime. A couple yep. teammates going at it. And um we're we gotta Oh, we gotta log out? Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. You guys got a couple the, the technical password over difficulties. Here. We got some technical difficulties over here. We'll take care of this right away. Um, we got, but, uh, you got to be logged into. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Nope. We are experiencing some technical difficulties before the final round here. Um, yeah, just send down whoever needs to fix it. We can do it. All right. All right. I'll so, I'm uh, anyways, the password. You, you take I over will, our choices. Uh, keep talking here. Which one? Anyways, we're going to see Aori Prime against Tank Boy Prime. Now, uh, Aori is one of the better players on Prime. He's a Protoss user. Uh, very strong player. He's been one of the top ranked Koreans in the ladder uh, since the beginning, basically. He's, I've seen him since the beginning of the beta. And Tank Boy was actually using a lot of random uh, for a very long time. He's now chosen Terran, and I... In my opinion, he's one of the lower prime players. Uh, I really feel that Aori should take this. Um, you know, I, I've played with both of them many, many times, and I just I feel like Aori should be the leader in this matchup. He, he should be the favorite. I think you're absolutely right. I have a cough drop in my mouth. Excuse me. Um, I think you guys are absolutely right. So we, we got rushed here. I, I'm in the game now, so now we can actually start the game. There's some weird technical problem. They couldn't uh, invite me in there. So, um, yeah, I think you're right. It's kind of weird, too, that we have two uh, prime players playing against each other. Yeah. Um, right away, but I guess when you get brackets that are this big, I mean, yeah. that's just what happened. A lot of prime guys did make it, and here you see Aori Prime. Uh, and he's pretty young, 21 years old. He loves Metalopolis. He loves to play Terran. He likes His favorite units are the Dark and High Templar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he likes orange juice. He likes pina coladas. Yeah. <laughs> um, and being stuck in the rain. Yep. I think uh, it's going to be interesting that when you have two guys who have obviously played against each other so much, um, facing off in a moment that's so early in, in the tournament because yeah. there's so much money and, and notoriety yeah, yeah, yeah. on the line. Only one of them is going to go through with this. Um, prime, as we Guarantees said before. a prime in the next round. Yeah. 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 So that's, a good, that's, a way, that's a way to put an optimistic I look at spin it on it. optimistically way. That's man. right. Uh, <laughs> the optimistically way. <laughs> the, op the most optimistically way possible. Um, Tank Boy Prime, Aori Prime, do we have a favorite? Aori. Aori, you think so? I, I really feel like Aori is uh, a top level prime. I feel like Tank Boy is one of the lower level primes. Okay. So uh, do you know how many people are yeah. in prime, actually? I actually, I'm not sure. There's a is lot, it like, though. It, it's over 10? I, I believe there's over 10 players okay, in prime. Okay, because I've seen a lot of uh, yeah, prime IDs on the there's a lot Korean of prime ladder and IDs. stuff, but I wasn't entirely sure. I think I could name 10 primes, so I'm sure there's more. And here we go, Tank Boy. I like that name, Tank yeah. Boy. He's even younger, only 19 years old. It's funny that we're calling these guys young at 19, considering the classic. I'm like, this guy is 13 yeah. years old. Well, this guy is 17 years old. He's in the middle of the age. It's uh, StarCraft 1, a game where you can copy really great players. Yeah. And just copy, copy, copy. A younger guy can do that. But I think it would be a little bit older, for the most part, at yeah. a newer game. Because you have to use experience in stuff that you don't really have. You can't copy. You know? I, th I think that's a fair statement. Yeah. Yeah. And um, we'll Thank see. You. I mean, I, 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 <laughs> I want to be. Fair. I deem that fair. You're a fair man. <laughs> Thank um, you. I uh, am waiting to see what exactly um, we're going to see strategically here from Tank Boy Prime. This matchup, he actually uh, is his favorite map, Lost Temple, and he likes to play Protoss, as Aori likes to play Terran. So it's their best matchups going at it. So yeah. we're really going to see who is the best. This might be the highest level um, match we see today. Um, Two guys who train together all the time, know each other, and uh, the Prime guys, they all share secrets. I mean, obviously, that's what you do when you're on a team. And um, TVP is, I think, the most developed match that we have right now, where there's so many different directions you can take the game, so many different openers. Um, I think it's going to be awesome. It is going to be awesome. It's going to be cool, man. I, con I concur. I concur. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you <laughs> for that. I was going to say I confirm, but like... No, concur is better. That's yeah, what uh, no, concur concur is Zealots better. say. Yeah. Uh, all right, so... Uh, sorry again for the technical uh, delays. Yeah. Things are going to get smoother and smoother each day we do this. Um, and again, um, I'm going to try to use the unit uh, counting station more for you guys. Stuff like that to kind of 
keep you guys as informed as possible. That's right. Keep leaving uh, yeah, keep letting us know what about you guys stuff want. like that yep. on GOMTV.net. Yep. And of course, any questions you have for the players. And remember, if you want to leave questions for the players, leave it uh, right away in the game because otherwise, you know, we don't we don't get to use it. It has yeah. to be immediately. Here's our map lineup. All right, and it looks like Zelnaga Caverns for the umpteenth time. Yes, will we've be seen a lot of that map, map today. Great map, though. And uh, then we're going to go on to Blistering Sands and Lost Temple. Yeah. And uh, I actually like this set of three maps for uh, Terran vs. Protoss, to be honest with you. Yeah, I think it's going to be interesting. Uh, Each yeah. of these maps has different styles that can be used. Yeah, and uh, not like surprising, we've hardly seen Desert Oasis in this tournament or Kulas Ravine. I don't think I've e have we even casted a game on Kulas Ravine. I don't think we have. Uh, because, of course, those maps are a little bit harder to play on. Yeah. So, um, or they're not balanced. So, you know, if you're yeah. like Zerg, you're like, well, I'm not going to play in Kulas for me. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I yeah. mean, every Zerg takes that out immediately. Yeah. I mean, you just can't you can't win. You can't defend your main base. And then, you know, the expansion, um, there could be Hellions everywhere. Or the Protoss just gets a Colossus, and there's a million different locations. They can march up with that. Um, both players wishing each other good luck. The countdown is starting. It's time. Six, five, four, four three, two, two, one. PVT. Prime versus Prime. <laughs> and we all synchronize load. You know, Primes are the leaders of the Autobots. Are so, they really? Oh, yeah, I didn't think about that. Optimus That's true. Prime, man. That's true. Absolutely. He's a Prime. Only a Prime can beat the Decepticons. That's true. So and what better guy prime? than Tank Boy Prime right. right here? Going for the robotic look. He's a Terran player. Down here at the bottom left is Aori Prime. Um, so, let's see. I mean, we haven't seen any SCVs or probes sent out yet, so we Nothing doesn't proxy. look like we're going to have a proxy anything. Yeah. Well, maybe a later proxy, like we saw with Spunky just hiding a random Stargate. Who knows? I was interested when I saw how often Spunky went for uh, Stargates. Yeah, he likes those Stargates. Then note, he is checking his main. He says, is there a proxy anything in here? No. Time to scout. It shows that he knows Tank Boy to some degree. Yeah, he's apparently saying, right, well, Tank, Tank Boy has probably hidden a barracks in his base before. He does apparently have the proclivity to do something like that. The proclivity? I don't know. I think I can use that word in that appropriate moment. Please define. <laughs> I, look, I, I moved on here. Uh, I would have to go home and look that one up. I wanted to sound smart. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Propensity. Maybe, that maybe, maybe, maybe the propensity to do that. Uh, <laughs> define, please. Uh, <laughs> The, uh, the the chances that he might do that are, are higher. Oh, okay. It, it's, it's, it's within his blood to do that. Uh, I, no, look at this scouting pattern. He scouts everywhere with that uh, probe to check for everything and anything. So, uh, and the other hand, Tank Boy scouts a little bit later. And um, what we get out of that is that Tank Boy does not believe that his opponent is going to do anything aggressive. No gateways in the base, which is viable on a one on one map. Gateways in the base are actually quite strong. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, in fact, for a while there, people were just doing that. <laughs> yeah. Just float up there, lay a pylon, lay a couple gates. Sup, Taren. It's actually... Proxy gate inside of your opponent's base is really strong because if you don't handle it right by sending the right amount of workers, you still end up losing money. <laughs> yeah. They you can actually kill the cancel the gateways or kill the gateways. And yeah. meanwhile, the Protoss is actually a, a, ahead of you at home. Yeah, it's it can be quite scary and quite gross at times. That SCV going to work on the pylon. Not constructing it like SCVs normally do, but instead Just trying to tear it, it down. And uh, you know what he's doing here? He wants to force the Protoss to take a probe off, and that's what he does. And you have to be a pretty good player to do this. Not a pro or anything, but because then you have to be okay with microing your SCV the entire time and keeping it alive. Yep. And that SCV only taking five damage. Getting shocked there by the probe. This fusion He's got cutters. a little taser on him. Um, ouch. The Zealot takes out the SCV. That's pretty bad for Tank Boy because yeah. normally you want to be able to keep that Zealot alive a little bit longer. We don't see the Warp Gate upgrade yet. And uh, that, that here is, it is. Uh, here it is. Okay. okay. I, I thought maybe say, he was going to get a Robo or something. I don't something. think I've ever seen a Protoss game where the Warp Gate upgrade yeah. doesn't start within two minutes. It's uh, it's so cheap. Yeah. Here comes the Zealot. Moving northward. It's the Marines back up. Now, uh, Bunker. From Tank Boy, this is a little bit interesting. Look at that. A command center and a reactored barracks. Yeah. Now, I don't understand this build, actually, because he's making the command center. He's making the bunker. This is all mineral-heavy stuff. Making the Marines. 
and a reactor. So he's actually mined 226 gas so far. Yeah, in addition to the that's 50 a good for point. the reactor. What is he actually using this gas for? He could have way, way more minerals. In fact, if he had just left all his SVs on minerals, he could have gotten a second barracks. And he actually, um, look at that. So, I, so I'm he not actually sure. is yeah. using um, the double uh, depot drop here um, huh. instead of mules. So yeah, oh, that's. I'm, Really, I have peculiar. no idea what's actually going on here. This is a very weird build. Uh, I hope it's something planned out and not just something he's throwing together at the last second out of nerves. But you know, could be people nerves do weird things to people. Yeah, this is. You know, I don't. This is really what I'm confused about here. This decision. Yeah. I don't know how you can this garner any benefits game. from that. Yeah, I mean, a mule is so much more worth it. It seems like almost a scan is more worth it. <laughs> In this case, because at least you're expanding. I mean, even though the mule is worth more than the scan, it's... I don't know. I'm a little bit confused. I mean, obviously, I don't know. I don't know. This is very, very oh, interesting. Now, double Protoss tech expands. labs going up. Yeah. Marauders. I am very interested to see what happens here. Tank Boy Prime. I've never cast at a StarCraft 2 game where I've been more surprised by an opener. Yeah, this is like... In some ways, this is actually more surprising to me than the nukes. <laughs> yeah. And he's going to have five gates, robotics facility. I like this play by Ori. It's, uh, you know, very standard, economical. Uh, you know, just good, good play overall. Keeping his resources down. Going to have a really nice army set up. And here's Stim. Ah, uh, okay. But still has so much gas that you got to question why he's mined this much gas already. Yeah, God, it just doesn't make any sense. I mean... It's so much gas. It, this SCVs could have been used on the minerals. I mean, I hate to be super, super critical of these guys, but it is math. I mean, it's pretty blunt. The numbers are right there. Um, he's got 300 gas now. We have no factory. I mean, perhaps he's timed it and out to get the upgrades here. Yeah. No um, upgrade for you. the combat shield or the hmm. um, concussive shells. Tank boy BP. I don't know. <laughs> Took you oh, a minute. Jason. I got it. I got it for a second. It took me a minute. You make I was me seem unfunny sometimes. I try. I know fair. you. I and I do think you are funny, in fact. So Thank I'm you. so sorry. Uh, Protoss moves out, and I feel like Protoss could maybe just take another base here. I don't know. It's yeah. Well, I mean, the build is weird enough that I would think like maybe Protoss could take the gold and make even more gateways. <laughs> this almost looks more like a PVT in a normal StarCraft uh, one game. Yeah, it really where does. it's like actually they're both kind of going to go for expansions and. You know, get the bare minimum out here. Did we see any more? Okay, we do see some mules being used here. Yeah, luckily no more supply drops. Um, but you know, it's going to be Colossus and five warp gates against just bionic play. Yeah, I don't know if that's good at all. I mean, a Colossus. You know, if he if he does and he does drop another supply depot. But anyways, uh, <laughs> I, I'm interested to see exactly what his plan is here. For a win, you know. All right, get in the eBay. Maybe get some upgrades. Get in a factory finally. Um, huh. And now that we have a lot of units in the game, here is that the is unit a counting lot station. Of units. And if he hits right before Colossus, this might be a very, very, very effective attack. In fact, I feel like that army is actually going to crush the current Protoss army. So he turns around. Oh, he does turn around. That's too bad. Oh, wow. Okay, well, actually, you know what? The Colossus would have gotten out there the exact time that that army would have gotten out there. Oh, while we wait for Tank Boy to make up his mind on what he wants to do, let's go ahead and take a look at the APM. And it looks like Tank Boy, pretty quick, actually, up at over 200 StarCraft 2 APM. That's actually really, really quick. That's like 300 APM in StarCraft 1. Yeah, yeah. And near that with Aori. So both very quick players. Extended thermal ants almost done, so this is going to be really strong against um, you know the infantry units, which are primarily what it, he has. He we just, just stimmed. He just stimmed his marines. There's a lot of stuff confusing me about a tank uh, boy's play you know, I here. I think tank boy is really ridiculously nervous. Yeah, I think so. I think nothing he's doing is making any sense. To be perfectly I mean, honest, you don't really use supply uh, drops. Okay, and, and he's, he's doing he, it again. Yeah, he's just he's missing depots. He's stimming when there's nothing there. Yeah, he's mining gas when he shouldn't. You know, uh, I, I think he's very very nervous. You know, he's a young kid. He's probably dreamed of this day for years. Being a, yeah, you know. I mean, you put too much pressure on yourself, and you just can't perform. That's right. Thermal Lance is done. 
I mean, to be br to be blunt, I mean, if I had to copy one player's build from this game, it would be the Protosses. Yeah. The Terrans is simply put not good. Um, he has a lot of infantry units. Now, if the Protoss makes a mistake or two, I mean, that's... Oh, yeah, no, the game that's isn't the, over yeah. by any means. Yeah. It's just, this is sloppy play that we are not quite used to. It's, it's it, you can tell the nerves are getting to him. You can completely, absolutely tell. All right, going back to the units over here. You can see, really, Protoss has a healthy mix. Yeah. Three Colossi. You get better about the difference between Colossi and Colossus. <laughs> I don't know. I like Colossuses. I don't like to speak correctly. <laughs> Here we have the um, Protoss army just surveying around the map. Now, you know what? Vikings are good, but don't you feel like these are a little bit too late? I mean, um, I don't know. And now he's getting just two medevacs. <laughs> It's, it's really peculiar. Um, and if we look over here, uh, Stalker's chilling <laughs> at the patio area of the main base. Um, yeah. nice watching that lightning here. storm of the Slactites down there. Yeah, There's actually a lot of action going on down here. Yeah, man. This game is seriously beautiful when you look at it on um, ultra uh, high graphics settings. My PC's actually not uh, kick ass enough to to do that, but I gotta say I'm pretty impressed. Now we have a drop wow. coming over here. It's gonna run right into those as well, right into those uh, stalkers. He's just gonna attack at two locations at once. Oh, I wanna cover my eyes, but I have to cast this game. Oh, oh my god. So this is maybe just how good he knows Tank Boy. Yeah. This is, <laughs> you know, I that's kind of the feeling I get from why those stalkers were up there, because why else would those stalkers be up there but to catch that drop? And Tank Boy just has to be feeling bad now. I mean, well, I mean, he's gonna sell his bunkers. I guess he's gonna push out now. I don't think there's enough Vikings to tank to take on a Colossus if the Colossus is at a good angle here. Yeah, we have four Colossi on the map, and um, we see we have several um, gateways here. He is getting upgrades, and you know what? I don't think he actually doesn't even know those stalkers in the top of his base because he's not bringing them out yet, and it looks like he's know. going to maybe engage. So yeah. Um, kind of interesting. A lot of mistakes being made by both players here. I guess both of them quite nervous. Okay, here we go. Vikings attacking, but I think there's too many stalkers. A stim. Should he engage? I don't know. Mm, he the, backs that, off. I think he could have actually won that battle. Well, the tank uh, Viking scared him off a little bit. Nice kiting right there. Yeah, really nice. Making it very difficult to catch up uh, to those units. So I guess Protoss is going to expand again in a game that we've seen so far has been pretty passive. This was the movie War of the Worlds Tasteless. Which yeah. Protoss unit would be Tom Cruise? Oh, that's a good question. Wouldn't it be a Terran unit? Because, you know, the War of the Worlds, the Colossus. Good point. Moving around here. So would he be a Marine or a Marauder? He'd be a Marine, dude. Easy choice. Oh, okay. Easy <laughs> choice. <laughs> All right. I base that off nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, we I feel stupid now, but okay. <laughs> We have more and more Colossus coming out. And um, look, I mean, if, if Protoss doesn't have enough Vikings to deal with this, then I think he's starting to get the Vikings too late. I, I don't know what he's going to do. You know, with I, I just keep on thinking about the six stalkers that you can see on the minimap in the top left of AoE Prime Space. And he is going to wonder when he's maxed out where all his units are. Because yeah. six stalkers is such a noticeable difference to an army. That could mean the difference between winning and losing because they're both just about maxed out at this point. And look at this. Cannons going up against Siege Shanks. Not so good. And in fact, they are funneling his units. Oh look my at God. this. And Tank Boy is going to slaughter this army in this area. Yeah, the Colossus the Coloss are stuck in the back. Uh, oh my God. Talk about, you know, considering how we really disagreed with his build order. You know, the angle that he attacked it was just total yeah. fail. Walking right through his own cannons. He he set up his own death trap there. Finally, his stalker's moving out of his main base, as you can see on the mini-map. And, wow, you know, Aori has dug his own grave here. Well, he can get a few more units to try to attack again. He needs to wait for the appropriate moment to do that. Yeah, if he attacks through that little choke again, I mean, come on. Someone has to give this kid a geometry class. <laughs> Surface area is important. We have Templars out here. He could feed back the medevacs. In fact, the medevacs are empty, so he could not feed back the medevacs. Empty as far as uh, energy goes. He's looping around. This location's not 
Uh, well defended, one turret here, that's it. No planetary defense fortress. No probes mining over here. Terran moves back. Hordas, knowing he's moved the Terran out of the position, moves back again. Wow, it looks like uh, this gold nexus, I don't know if it's ever gonna have full mining capacity. Oh, I, I don't know if Terran has enough anymore, actually. Um, Protoss is actually getting pretty scary, and he's trying to split up his army here. I don't know if that's the wisest decision. You know, it's quite interesting is their supplies are staying right even with each other throughout the Yeah, they the really game. are. It looks like there's a little drop behind the third base. Oh, nice! Taking out probes. Very nice use of that medevac right there. And this is gonna defer his whole army. Now is the time to hit that next set the gold base. Go, Tank Boy, go. Is he gonna do it? Tank Boy, go. Tank Boy's not gonna go. Tank Boy. Come on, man. Come on. All right, there he goes. Thank you, Tank Boy. We see. Um, it looks like this next is gonna go down. I, I'm gonna say, for the build that kind of didn't make very much sense coming from Tank Boy early on, um, it just doesn't seem like uh, Ori Prime really controls his units to, well. Now he backs off. He realizes there's going to be an attack over here. He, of course, did have uh, you know notification of that ahead of time with a sensory turret. Sell it, legs upgraded. Oh, Side storm. Nice right there. The tank's falling down. Nice storm on the Vikings, too. Tank boy might be in trouble here. He's oh, got a man. lot of red units. Loses wow. that gold base. That's actually really, really huge. Aori. He's stalled long enough. He's still got that Nexus somehow. But Tank Boy counterattacking now. Only 140 supply against 180. Watch out. Here we go. Zealots charging in. Uh, as we see the Stalkers are targeting the Siege Tanks, the Vikings. Uh, it's just too many oh, units. Beautiful oh side Oh, my storms. God. I had no idea Look that he was going to come back that fast. But then again, you know, Tank Boy just didn't have the right unit composition early on. His build didn't make any sense, and he's paying for it now. He's going to do a drop over here. Aori just asserted his dominance all over Tank Boy's units, man. I mean, yeah. Tank Boy right now barely mining out of his natural. His main is just about empty. Nice drop again by Tank Boy Prime, but looks like Aori is just going to walk around and kill what's left. Okay, here we see um, the command center is now going down. Oh, I don't know if Tank Boy can recover under any circumstance now. It's like 95% in the yeah. Protoss' favor. Actually, probably even more than that. Yeah, I believe it's, it's much closer yeah, to 99. .99. Yeah. It's kind of uh, like he's hoping for a disconnect at this point. Uh, I know. He just has so few units, uh, Tank Boy does. 92 supply against 170. And now... You could see. Marauders are good, but they aren't that good. Jesus. Yeah, they're not that good. Uh, he's now uh, storming his own army uh, for just a second there, but it makes you feel alive. It makes you. <laughs> I haven't felt pain in some time. Uh, you know, Ori Prime really is not dealing with the harassment well or doing his army that well, but the bottom line is Tank Boy much, much worse. And there G -G. it is. G -G. Um. You know, I think that was, out of all the builders we saw, that was the one that made the least amount of sense. Yeah. Tank Boy, obviously he's good, he's on Prime, but I mean, really, uh, he just seemed to be nervous. He Supply definitely seemed drops. nervous. And in fact, I think that Aori was nervous as well. I think Aori I think it was a little a bit game. of nerves, yeah. I think Tank Boy can play a better game. It was still awesome. I still it was a very it. exciting match. Yeah. But I, I really feel like they can, maybe they've calmed down a little bit. We can see uh, maybe something even a better game than that. Yeah. Yeah. That's my hope, Jesus. That's my hope, too. I got my fingers crossed. We're already in the game, um, and this could be our last game here if um, if Tank Boy loses again. If Tank Boy wins, we have one more game today. That's so, right. It's been a lot of fun, though, casting all these games for you down here uh, at GOM TV. That's right. It, it's it's a lot of fun down in the studio. You ever come to Korea, definitely come check come it out. Come check this out, or come compete if you can. Oh, uh, absolutely. Also, check out the GOM player um, as well. I actually um, use that to watch movies. Yeah, it's great. It's a really good player. Um, you can download it, and it's free. And Basically, you can use has that to all watch. the codecs built in, yeah, automatic yeah. updates. It's Seriously, just try it. Try downloading that. Yeah. Um, use it's not that. a heavy video player either. No, no, no. Not you like can iTunes I or watch something. all my movie series and stuff like that with them. And, um, you know, also, guys, uh, definitely tell all your friends to tune in. We have a service right now that costs um, roughly, uh, what is it? Is it $20 to get all the VODs? 
uh, yep. for the season. That's right. Twenty That's right. for and the you... live stream in HD and yes. all the VODs. Uh, pretty reasonable. And looks like we're about to start. 